welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another WWE Action Figure 2-Pack Elite review for you guys. Very excited for this one today. It is on the brand new WWE Elite 2-Pack Rock and Sock Connection. Brought to us by Mattel. A huge shout-out to Ringside Collectibles for making this review possible. Guys, if you guys would like to pick this thing up already, or if you want to put in your pre-orders for SDCC, or if you want to put in anything, man, go over to WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MD toys to save yourselves 10%. While you're shopping over there, man, the, this week is going to be crazy. We have reviews. We got a ton of, of new stuff coming to us at the end of the week. This weekend, man, is San Diego Comic-Con. I cannot wait for it, man. I'm just freaking, I'm so giddy to see all the renders and the epicness. And use promo code MD Toys when putting in all those pre-orders, man, because a ton of stuff's going to be up for pre-order this weekend. You don't want to miss it. Go do that, man. But diving in, man, we got a beautiful looking rock, a beautiful looking Mankind figure, Elite logo down here. Really like the pattern that we got going on right here. WWE logo at the top on the side you get a beautiful image of the rock and then on the other side you get a beautiful picture of the sock. You get what I'm saying. On the back guys it does say rock and sock connection. There's a little bio read right here. If you'd like to read it you can pause it now. A beautiful image of the great one and mankind right here. Elite logo down there and that pretty much wraps up our packaging. I will say I like this packaging but I don't think it touches the Triple H Jeff Hardy 2 pack. I'm gonna be real with you man. That 2 pack, that packaging is just mm, chef's kiss. You know what I'm saying? But let's shut the hell up and crack the rock and the sock of the connection out of the thing. So here's the Rock and Sock connection out of the packaging, guys. Gotta be real with you. I've spent some time posing around, playing around with this man, and uh, we got some good ish going on right here, man. Like the, these may be some bad boys, you know what I'm saying? So getting into it, guys. Here's the Rock and Sock out of the out of the packaging. You know, this is a two pack that I really don't think we, you know, honestly needed. I don't think we needed it. I think this is our first time actually getting a jacket for Mankind. I know with the Defining Moments Rock, we did get like a Rock and Sock connection deal kind of going on there. Was it the Defining Moments or was it the Legends? I think it was the Defining Moments Rock. Yeah, the, the Defining Moments Rock, it was. That was a great figure, no doubt. But I gotta dive into it, man. I gotta dive in and show you guys what these things are all about. So what we're gonna do is take a closer look at their accessories first, and then we will break each figure down by itself and showcase all of those abilities. So with that being said, guys, let's dive into this plethora of accessories that you get with this two-pack. So breaking down the contents inside of this packaging and box set, man, this is what we get. Tons of stuff, not including the mic-holding interchangeable hands that they come with out of the packaging, man. Starting out with the cloth goods, this is what sells these two packs, man. The people love the cloth goods. Hopefully we get tons and tons of cloth goods this weekend for SDCC. I feel like cloth goods is kind of the direction we're going with the double-jointed arms and the true effects and just the golden era of action figures right now, man. On the front, it does say rock. It's a beautiful black jacket. It's very... It's very well made, like hands down very well made. On the back, you do get Rock and Sock Connection there in the gold lettering. Very beautiful-ish going on right here, man. I think this is like a direct re-release of the Defining Moments jacket. I could be wrong. It may be, you know, it may be a little bit more glossy or something, but these look great. I'll show you what they look like on the figure later on in the video. And then you also have Mick. You can't have the Rock without Mick's. So here is Mick Foley's or Mankind's jacket. It says Mick there, and then on the back it says Rock and Sock Connection again. These are terrific jackets, man. Man, these are really terrific jackets. Like, just, I don't know, they kind of embody the 90s. They also have Velcro on the front there, so you can seal it up if you'd like. It just reminds me of baggy 90s jackets, you know what I'm saying? Like, my dad, growing up, when he would, he worked night shift, and before he went in, he always threw on, like, this baggy windbreaker-esque jacket. That's just what this reminds me of. I, I don't know, weird. Next up, guys, we also have two microphones, and it is going to be these Raw is War microphones, which are absolutely beautiful. I think that's so awesome that we finally have this era of Raw mics. I I don't think we've had Raw is War mics like this before, but the nostalgia is just flowing out. It's 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 just freaking ridiculous. But these mics look good. So many different microphones that we've gotten over the years, man, with all the different logos. Need to get me an MDT mic like this for next year's Comic Con, a eh, a. Eh? But the Raw is War mics look really good. Outside of that, you also get interchangeable hands, but we also have other cloth goods. You get Mr. Socko and Mr. Rocco. And actually, I've never owned a Mankind Elite before, so I'm very excited for this because I've never had a Mr. Socko. I've never had a Mankind Elite. I've had Mick Foley. I've had Cactus Jack. I've had Dude Love. I've all, I've had all the iterations of Mick Foley except for Mankind. So happy to add him and happy to add Mr. Socko there. So that is excellent. And then you also, I guess I, I get the tag team together here. So that's just wonderful. But again, we'll see what these look like over the hands. But you know, it's just a little cloth sleeve. It feels high quality. You just slide it over the hand there to get the job done. And then we also get some gold sunglasses that come with the rock. We've seen these on multiple 
rock figures now, but I want to say these are the Elite 69 Collector's Edition rock glasses. Could be wrong, but there's that. And then you have your interchangeable hands. You have like the wide open, have a nice day type hand right here, the You Can't See Me John Cena hands. And then the rock comes with just bring it hands or hand shaking hands. And then you have his fist. And don't forget about the mic holding hands that they come with out of the packaging. But you get a ton of stuff in this two pack, man. That's that's pretty that's pretty solid right there. I don't think you can complain about all that. Two cloth jackets like that. You get the cloth accessories, the interchangeable hands. I feel like they kind of loaded this pack up, bro. This is a steal of a set, I think. So getting into Mankind first, guys, starting out at the head sculpt, this is actually something that they did. Um, I didn't know this, but the mask is actually removable, so you can actually take the mask completely off right there. You get a nice look at Mick Foley underneath with the crazy hair, and this mask is nicely sculpted as well, so it's got the nice brown color on there, the studs and the backing and the cross over there, so all you have to do is just, you know, plug this over the face, and then the line runs down the middle of the hair, and then you can clip it in the back of his neck right there behind the hair, and that fits pretty good, so I think they did a good job. It looks like Mick Foley in a mask and Mankind and all that. Going down, you do get the button-down sleeve tee. You get the black tie on there. For these Mankind figures, they've never released one that actually has bicep swivel, so they kind of give him, like, the basic style articulation, but he gets pretty good articulation. You get the rotation at the elbow and a single jointed there. You know, not my favorite, but this needs to be updated, but I understand it with the sculpt right there. I just would like to see, you know, some articulation right there, but at the end of the day, it still looks good. Skin tone looks good. He does have, like, the blue pants on or the blue sweatpants if you will a bit saturated but not bad at all and he also has his white sneakers right there this is our third elite mankind if i'm not mistaken we had the elite 17 we had the elite SummerSlam one and now we have the elite two pack which i've never owned those other two mankinds i really need to get them but i like the mankind man really good stuff right here and i'm happy to finally add him to the collection on the shelf i need to track down the other two i feel like they're kind of expensive nowadays but i'm sure this won't be the last iteration of mankind that we get especially when they update it with double jointed arms and stuff like that down the line uh that will probably be the next mankind that i get but this is awesome and i guess i gotta pull a bretto live and i gotta try to track down every elite i gotta own every single elite at least one of each don't know how long that'll take or if that'll even be possible but you know we gotta get started on that now getting into the rock figure bro i'm not even gonna bs with you let's just get through it first and then i'll tell you my honest thoughts about this figure but starting out with the head sculpt this is a new head sculpt he's got like a slight smirk i really like the hair sculpt that we got going on here we can zoom in a little bit more here. The likeness is, is immaculate. I think the likeness is definitely there. I love the hair sculpt again. Probably would have preferred like a pissed off head sculpt or one of those ultimate edition head sculpts that came on that figure, but I understand it. I still, you know, I can appreciate a new head sculpt and everything. This is a perfect body mold, I think, for this style of rock. You got the Brahma Bull tat right there, which looks really good. One thing that I love about this figure is the elbow pads, man. They got the accurate elbow pads. It says lay the smack down. You got the Brahma Bull logo there with the red, white, and black. It looks so clean, man. So clean clean. The Brahma Bull in the red looks beautiful. And this is actually one of my favorite rock gears from uh, this time period. The red outline looks insane. The rock and like that Sharpie-like font. Just wonderful, man. Just wonderful. And usually when we get this body mold for the rock, it's usually super hard to pose. But this rock feels great in the hand, man. Like I'm already looking at one of my favorite figures I've gotten this year. Like I love this. The nostalgia's there. The figure moves really well. Like the legs aren't like... Anybody that owns a rock like this knows when you stick the leg for it gets like all hung up but these legs feel just great i don't know what to say about it uh you know it's a standard rock boots and knee pads but if this thing had double jointed arms i mean good god man Maybe we could update that at a later date or, you know, when we get an updated rock or whatever. I know we're getting the Ultimate Edition, but I don't know. Maybe we'll be able to put the arms on here. I, I'm not sure, but good God in, in heaven, I love posing this rock around already, man. It doesn't have a loose waist like other rocks. The head sculpt looks good. It's just, it's just a really good representation of an Attitude Era rock. And I don't know, man. It's it's getting it's getting me excited. This is good stuff right here, bro. This rock figure is, is freaking incredible. Really good job by Mattel on this rock. All right, guys. Well, here are the jackets and the accessories on these guys if you guys were interested to see how the jackets fit the sleeves on these jackets is impeccable like I, I like the way they squeeze the figure if that makes sense like the arms and like the cuffs I would recommend removing the hands before sliding on the jacket it just makes it a lot easier you can do it while the hands are on I just wouldn't recommend it I would just say go ahead and pop them off slide the jacket on then pop them back on it takes two seconds but jackets look really good I think you know you can make some cool promo rocks or whatever I'm definitely not putting the jacket on this figure this figure is a beautiful specimen of a rock probably gonna 
going to fix it up on action figure surgery and then play around with the jacket and the accessories, make other different rocks and head sculpts and mixing and matching. That's what I plan on doing. And uh, we have quite the number of figures to kind of put through surgery. So I think we're going to have us a surgery episode returning and it's going to be absolutely great. So that will be really cool. But yeah, man, this is uh, epic. This is epic stuff. I really enjoy this rock and sock connection two pack. I, I honestly wasn't that excited for the two pack. I was just like, yeah, you know, it's rock and sock. But now after having it, it's freaking awesome. It's great. I, uh, yeah, this rock's going to be in my top 10 figures of the year, probably. Like, more than likely, I know we're only a little bit over the halfway point, but man, feeling pretty damn good, Brad. Anyways, if you guys would like to grab this two-pack, man, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Again, SDCC coming up in a few days, man. I am hyped. I'm hyped. I think that, you know, uh, an R I feel like we're going to see an RBD Elite, and it's going to win the weekend. Double jointed arms, RBD entrance hands, beautiful True Effects head sculpt, Tiger Stripes attire. I just feel like we're going to see it, and I'm, I'm so hyped. And then just all the other things that we're going to see, bro, I am just too excited. So we will cover all of it here on the channel, man. Make sure you don't miss out. But a huge shout-out to everybody that checked out the video. Let's get into a random shout-out because we, we've missed it for the last couple days, and I have crossed the freaking football line, man. And this shout-out's going to go to Johnny Mala, or Johnny Mala, or Jahani Mala. I think that the one that crossed the line is the paint paint ship on the chest. He's referring to the chest paint that came off on my Ultimate Edition Sergeant Slaughter SDCC exclusive from our review yesterday. If you guys missed that review, definitely go check it out. A lot of you did miss it. But guess what, Brad? You can go back and watch it, and then you won't miss it, and then you won't cross the line. But a huge shout-out to Johnny for that, or Jahani Mala. But peace out, guys. Thank you for watching. Get hyped for Comic-Con, and if you're not hyped for Comic-Con... You cross